Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. We're going today to be making easy crock pot chicken chili and I think it's a perfect meal for a day like today. It's rainy out, it's one of those cloudy dark Pacific Northwest days and a bowl of chili just sounds like it would be perfect. So um, it's one of my favorite meals by the way because it's so simple to put together that I'm excited to show it to you. So let's get started. Alrighty, so here are the ingredients needed for this recipe. It's uh, pretty simple. You're going to start with two and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken, and that can be breast or thighs. Um, thighs are my preference just because they're less expensive, and my family thinks that it's, they taste better, and I would have to agree, but that's, like I said, that's my own choice. You can use either. I also cut them up ahead of time because I, that's the way I like to do it. But if you're in a rush and you were trying to make this meal as you're walking out the door, you certainly can just throw them in their hole and shred the chicken up with a couple forks afterwards. Um, you know, whatever works for you or whatever you like. But that is the start. It's two and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken. Um, the next ingredient I have is a 29 ounce can of pinto beans. I have two cans of chili beans which are, what are these, 15 ounces and that's basically um, pinto beans with chili peppers, onions, garlic and some seasoned tomato sauce, um, a can of small red beans and a can of Rotel tomatoes. Now, and the last ingredients is a block of cream cheese. So uh, by the way this recipe is already on my blog but you can go to where this video is and I'll have a link to, to it. Um, I'll also put a link from my YouTube channel as well so you can easily find the recipe. So right now I'm going to go ahead and open up the cans and I will show you where to go from there. Okay, here we go. The first thing you do is you add your, chill, or your chicken into the bottom and now you're going to add the beans. I do not drain the beans, most of the beans, except for the can of small red beans. I do drain that one. If you don't, if you leave all the liquid in, that's okay too, but you'll end up with something more resembling soup than you're going to have at chili, which we like a little bit thicker. Um, if you like it, your chili really thick, then you might want to drain some of the liquid that's inside the pinto beans. It's really up to you. But for now, what I do is I don't drain these, the uh, pinto beans and the chili beans, but I do drain the small red beans. All right, the next step is to add the can of pintos, the two cans of chili beans, the can of red beans, my tomatoes, and the very last thing you're going to do is just Plop in your block of um, cream cheese and I kind of push it down into everything. You don't even really need to stir this at this point. You can just dump it all in and put the lid on. Turn it on low and you're done. Alrighty, you're going to cook this chili on low for six to eight hours or you can cook it on high for three to four hours, whatever works best for your schedule. And I'll be back to show you the finished product. Alrighty, the cooking time is all done and I'm going to take the lid off and give the stir and it looks delicious and my family's hungry right now and ready to have some dinner. So I'm going to dish up a bowl and it looks really good. I'm going to be serving this with a nice green salad and tortilla chips and a jar of my homemade salsa. Alright, that about wraps this one up and it's time for us to go have some dinner. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.